cookbook. This is where he kept all his favorite recipes. It almost reads like a diary, because after preparing a certain dish, he would not just write his opinion in the margin, but also noted the reactions of his friends after tasting it. He also used to frequently remove ingredients, inventing his own to add. Hmm. Appetizer. Crap à la grand-mère. Crab, pineapple, half-cooked peas, young cheese, ketchup. Special note, add some cognac. Main course, steak a la Uncle Joseph. Steak and mushrooms baked in butter, pineapple with juice, Cumberland sauce, ketchup, Special note, add some vodka. Or is it love? Please tell me, is it love? That I kiss the ground where he goes, adore his face, his lips, his nose. Please solve this problem that arose. first time, the love of my life took me out to dinner. We went to a beautiful small restaurant where everything was just perfect. The smile on the lady's face who took my coat, the soft classical music in the background. Classical. Thank you. The couple at the table next to us, he really old, probably rich. She at least 25 years younger, patiently listening to stories she must have heard at least a thousand times, but she loved it. The way my love pulled up my chair as a real gentleman. The way the waiter explained the menu de la chef in beautiful French. And to be honest, I couldn't understand a word he was saying, but I didn't care. Everything was so perfect, I just nodded and smiled. Actually, the last time, I remember my father nodding and smiling at a waitress who explained the menu in a French restaurant. He ended up with intestines on his plate. What to us kids was the most hilarious moment of the entire vacation. But not this time. This time, the food was delicious. Each course came with its own special wine. Even with dessert, each of the six components had its own wine. And I thought to myself, wow, he must really love me. Does he feel for me? Could it be? My father used to say, Leentje, that's what he called me, Leentje. Food is love. Preparing it is an act of love. And life is too short not to really enjoy it. 
No matter what you do, no matter how bad you feel, no matter how busy you are, always seize the moment. Appetizer, main course, dessert. And make sure you prepare it with love. Why? Just because you can. Simply because you are given the opportunity to be able to. As a little girl, I thought he was the best cook in the whole world. He always started really early in the morning. The kitchen was his sanctuary, and I was the only one allowed in. Quietly, I sat at the kitchen table, and I just watched him. Every now and then, he would make me taste something. Too salt? No, 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 it's perfect. And later that day, I was allowed to set the table with the expensive china, a job I took very seriously. I'll never forget my father's proud face as he entered the dining room, like a victor emerging from the battlefield, holding a hot dish of something I wasn't able to pronounce in his hands. Veni vidi vici. He came, he saw, he conquered. Appetizer, main course, dessert. Once I tried to be chef de cuisine for this love of my life, I so wanted to impress him. I wanted to make him the perfect dinner. I was nervous for days, reading cookbooks, wandering through supermarkets, not finding the right ingredients. I mean, really, what the hell is quinoa anyway? <sighs> Thinking, okay, calm down. Prepare something you already know how to make. So, we ended up with a small salad and a grilled chicken on our plate. On the table, a roll of toilet paper for napkins. And my kitchen looking worse than Waterloo after Napoleon's army was through. I think that might have been the beginning of what I later on would refer to as the period of great disinterest. Because his warmly loving attention went from all over me to, I'm not sure who, but it definitely wasn't me. So, when he left me, I did what every woman does in my position. I locked myself up in a small room with a huge bag of potato chips and my favorite movie at that time, The Killing Fields. <laughs> and I felt so sorry for myself. And I realized, you know, we never really broke up. I mean, one day he just left, which might be a good thing, because you can't fix what's broken. But somebody who suddenly leaves might be able to suddenly show up again. And this time, I will be prepared. Appetizer, main course, dessert. It took me at least eight months before I heard this soft voice in my head saying, Leentje, what are you doing? Life is too short. He was just the appetizer. Remember? Appetizer, main course, dessert. There have been so many changes since you left So many hours I could have spent in other arms than yours So many places, there were so many faces that I see Desperate anymore to be alone.
Don't forget the cognac. <laughs> 